can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. To fans of science fiction, quantum physics is a familiar concept. It's used to explain everything from psychic powers to time travel and teleportation. Quantum physicists often lament this practice because fiction is meant to entertain. Physics, on the other hand, is the study of behavior of matter and its motion through space and time. While this ancient branch of science has produced some of the most important discoveries in human history, it is still a work in progress, and it has limitations. For example, conventional physics can describe the motion of large objects moving slower than the speed of light. After that point, the rules get fuzzy. That's why quantum physicists study the behavior of objects at the smallest observable levels. At these atomic and subatomic scales, it becomes impossible to observe some objects without altering their behavior. To scientists, this indicates that we have an incomplete understanding of reality. Those who believe in the paranormal agree, but they also go further, arguing that quantum physics explains unproven phenomena usually dismissed as superstition or pseudoscience. Could they be correct? Here's where it gets crazy. It's possible. Scientists attempting to explain the bizarre actions of matter at very high speeds or very small scales have discovered things that, according to conventional physics, should not exist. Take teleportation. In 1998, physicists at the California Institute of Technology successfully teleported a photon, the smallest measurable unit of light, using a phenomenon known as quantum entanglement. When two photons are entangled on a quantum level, the changes in one create changes in the other, regardless of the physical distance between the two. This has been proven at the particle level, and this experiment indicates that teleportation, while nothing like the teleportation bay in Star Trek, is possible. And it doesn't stop there. In 2009, scientists at the University of California managed to demonstrate quantum entanglement by linking the electrical currents of two superconductors, which were large enough to be visible to the naked eye. Before this time, quantum entanglement had largely only been observed at much smaller levels. The entangled particles somehow contain or transmit information with no contact. Each object, then, contains information about the entire entangled system. The only other structures that exhibit this phenomenon are called holograms. Holograms are two-dimensional surfaces that show precisely detailed three-dimensional images of real objects. To physicists like Niels Bohm, this means that the universe we inhabit could be one enormous hologram. The great difficulty of science at the edges of our understanding is that it becomes increasingly abstract and based on speculation. At times, the discussions at the limits of science converge upon the metaphysical. Countless spiritualists have incorporated principles of quantum mechanics as a support of their beliefs, and the mainstream has been quick to dismiss these statements. Yet we have conclusive proof that our understanding of the world only applies to certain segments of reality. When we attempt to draw conclusions about things that are very small, or things that are very fast, we only end up with more questions. Why do the rules of reality appear to change? How do these distortions affect the lives of humans? The science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke famously said that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. As scientists move past the limits of our understanding into a world where teleportation is possible and the entire universe might be a hologram, we have to wonder, have we reached this point already? If so, what happens next? Display scopes do not show physical images transmitted from elsewhere. They display the results of the computer's findings. SAGE, with its display scope, also has one feature possessed by neither a television or radar screen. It has memory. Hey.